We, the fourth graders of 4KL, will work together to create a learning environment where every student feels confident, engaged, respected, safe, and comfortable. The Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence came about as a result of decades of research that was conducted in the Health, Emotion, and Behavioral Laboratory founded by Peter Salovey, the now president of Yale University. Whereas historically, we just conducted research on the science of emotion, now we're gonna take that information and make it accessible to school systems and other organizations through trainings and institutes. What was the feeling word that you liked the best? Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah. Before I learned about emotional intelligence, I wasn't really striving to go anywhere. I was just living day by day, just being a normal person. But now that I have learned about emotional intelligence, I sort of strive to be a better person every day, try to fix the little things like my mood or the way I treat other people. We've developed Ruler as our evidence-based approach to teaching emotional intelligence in schools and other organizations. That every day, every single student comes in feeling a different emotion, and it's our job to make them feel safe and secure so they're able to learn. So at the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence, we study the science and practice of emotions and emotional skills. What we look at is how the emotions that we feel, how that impacts what we do, what we think, the decisions we make, how we interact with others so that we can be more productive, effective, a better friend, a better parent, a better teacher in the classroom, a better student in the classroom. I started studying human emotions uh, in a lab that I worked in in college. At that time, there wasn't much interest in psychology and emotions. The cognitive revolution was in full force, and people kind of viewed emotions as noise. The idea was you might have emotions, but they don't actually predict anything. They don't matter. And I just couldn't believe that that was true. And uh, got very motivated to study emotions to show that emotions not just matter, but they matter in positive ways. That we had an emotional system for a reason. We had an emotional system that was functional. We had an emotional system that helped us get through life. A way for children to like express their feelings without fear of being laughed at. It just, it's like you can share your feelings and it's like you notice that other people have the same feelings as you. I realized that it's kind of putting a toll on my teachers having so much energy like up in the yellow and I need to bring it down to the green, keep the positivity, but cut down the energy a little bit. We've shown that the emotional climate of a classroom seems to be the best predictor of student engagement and student performance as well as students' behavior. Our research on Ruler shows that we actually can impact that climate, that we make classrooms places where kids want to learn where teachers feel comfortable teaching, where the relationships between teachers and among students themselves is just better. The word respected meant a lot to me because if I don't feel respected, I don't think I will feel really any of the other feelings at all because then I wouldn't feel safe and I wouldn't feel comfortable and I definitely wouldn't feel confident. What we really wanted to accomplish in our dorm was try to make it feel like home. So our main word was love. I really do see that we are building a strong core foundation in each of our children to understand their own emotions. They have the tools and are using the tools. And I think that's happening because we're giving explicit instruction. The community as a whole, the children, the parents, the teachers, this is huge for all of us. And that's been improving the interaction, the interpersonal skills, you just see it. it. The feeling is there and you're seeing it in actual evidence of people using these tools and talking the talk and walking the walk. It's research-based and quantifiable. It makes it very easy for a superintendent to be able to go to the school board and say, here's the program that we're recommending and here's the evidence that it works. What makes really unique from our perspective is that we train everybody with a face. When we work in schools, we want everyone to have the opportunity to develop his or her emotional skills from the superintendent to the preschooler. And what we found is that when everybody has a common language around emotional skills and everyone is developing themselves, great things happen.